Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that fruit scope and the scope. So this is the day 15 of the service portal training. In this day we'll talk about the scope and root scope. What is the scope, what is the root scope and what is the benefit of the scope and root scope. So let's first understand the use case. So in, in my case, so this is another page that I have created called broadcast. In this page, I have two widgets. So if you if I refresh that, so left side I have another widget and then right side I have another widget. And these two widgets are absolutely blank. They have don't have any much code. So if I go back and then uh, click that show customization, you can see that these two are the different different widget. Now let's understand the use case. So I need to send the communication between this widget and this widget. What does it mean by that? So let's say that if I click that button called in progress, so this value should be sent to these widgets. Or maybe if I click the button called closed, this value closed value should be cascade or closed value should be sent to this uh, widget. So how can we do that? So these things can be done through the scope and root scope. So we'll discuss that in our today's class. So first we will uh, see that the what definition is saying and then we will come back to this widget part and then work on that. So if you see here uh, what is the scope and root scope. Scope is a JavaScript object that refers the application data. So nothing but whenever you are declaring a data or when whatever de you are declaring call um, data or maybe C or whatever these all under fall under the scope. So these widgets all the variables under fall under the scope. So if you are declaring any variable um, that can be uh, this that will be follow under this widget. So now this scope or this variable cannot be shared with this variable because this is the scope variable and then whatever variables or data that has there is will be only available to this left side. This cannot be sent to the right side. Now let's say that what is the root scope is saying. The root scope acts as a global variable all scope and angular js applications are children of the root scope so what it is mainly saying that root root scope is the parent of the scope and under this root scope all the small scopes are present so let's understand the image and clear our doubt so i just open this image in a new tab and you can see that on the top we have a root scope and under this root scope we have a small small scope so these are the scope and this scope can have further scope now let's say that the root scope is for example root scope is our page and the left side we have a one widget right side we have a one widget and then widget can have multiple similar widgets so this all about the scope and the root scope basically root scope is holding all the small scope now we are uh, to sending the data let's say that you are sending you want to send the data from this uh, this widget to the this widget so these two are assume that are different widget and you want to send from this widget to the this widget data you cannot directly send that because the variables are uh, actually uh, stored into the particular uh, uh, cases right so what we have to do we have a two mechanism or two method one is the broadcast another is the um, emit and then third is the on so we have three method one is the broadcast plus emit and then a, a third is the on so using the broadcast and emit and then on we can send data from one um, widget to the another widget let's say that if i want to send some data from the, this widget to to this widget what will be happen we just need to be uh, declare the broadcast so using the broadcast method we can uh, we can uh, mark that variable available for all we can mark that variable to available for all our other scope and then we using the on method we can receive that value from all our other widget so let's understand in our practical knowledge so if i see here if i open this widget so let's see i am opening this widget first so first thing first that when somebody uh, if you see that there is nothing much code is written it's have a only one uh, text and then two buttons now let's say that i am going to declare two uh, function so i'll see that ng click and then uh, set state something like that and under that i'm going to pass some value called in progress 
and here I'll pass the same thing. I'll copy that and then paste here call closed. So these two back, these two, um, uh, you know, the function is declared. Now, if we go back to the client script and under this client script, we need to call this function. Before that, we have to declare that, uh, you know, c dot function name so i'll put that c dot function name like that okay or else what you can do instead of that you can just uh the earlier we did that the c dot function name what we can do we can directly define the function name and inject that scope object here and then here we can directly define the dollar scope dot the function name So this way we can do that okay so two options we discussed last time so let's I'll, I'll discuss that so that i'll put the value here and then here i'll put the alert and then put the value okay so let's save that function so i just save this code and um what will be happen when when you click that in progress button it will show alert and then the value so let's refresh our page and try to see that so once we click that in progress, you can see that alert is coming with that value and that in progress. And once we click the close, the value is coming the close. Now you see that there's some little difference that earlier we used to call the function called C dot and then C dot function name this way. And here we used to see uh, the C dot function name, something like that. We used to see C dot function name. Now let's refresh that and then see that what will be happen. So if you click that, they, this also this function also working, right? So the, so basically we have a two options. So if you are using the C dot function name, that also work, or else you can use the dollar scope and then you can uh, directly use the function name like dollar scope and then function name. In that case, you don't need to define the C dot or something like that. You can just directly define the function. So both the way we can work that. So first thing first, what we did, uh, basically we created a function and then that functions, whenever somebody click that, it should call this function. So this client script function should be called by somebody. So let's try to do one more time. So once we click that, uh, you can see this, uh, these functions are calling and then function are popping up and then showing the value. Now next thing is that we should make available that uh, you know that value or the variable should be available for all the other case so let's say that i need to uh i need to available this variable value like this value or the the value that i'm clicking that the value i should be available for this uh, widget right to mark this available or to make this variable available what we have to do that we have to define a scope or one um, dependency called root scope and then this root scope what we have to do we have to copy and then here we need to say the root scope and then we have a function the function name is the broadcast so we need to be define the um, broadcast function and in bracket we need to define the broadcast name so let's say that i'll say that uh, you know any name you can uh, put that but that should be unique so i'll do that broadcast one and here i need to pass value so any value that i want to pass so once i did the line and save that what will be happen whenever the function will be called up this functions or this will be called the root scope dot broadcast function and using the root scope dot broadcast function it will create a global variable so as we mentioned that that using that root scope we can create a global variable so it will create a global variable and then that variable name is the broadcast and that value will be the whatever value we are showing in the alert so let's do that if we refresh that and so once we click in progress and okay right now this it will create one variable called broadcast one and then that variable is accessible into this right side widget now let's go back to the right side widget and make some modification 
so what we have to do here we need to check that the variables that the new variables that is created that have which value and then we need to bind the value right so first thing first what i'll do i will uh, inject or i will inject the scope here and then let's say that i will declare that scope dot let's say i'm going to declare that state equal to uh, new something like that okay and let's say that this value i can bind into the html by double curly braces we already discussed that so let's save that and refresh that what is happening we will see first once we save that i hard coded the state value equal to new so if we refresh that the hard coded value is showing new but once we click the uh, in progress or close what we are expecting the expectation from these two are uh, that whenever somebody click the in progress this state the variable the scope value we have declared the scope has to be updated by the broadcast dot root scope for so that what we have to do we need to also inject here the call root scope and here we have a options called root scope dot dollar on and inside we need to define the function name that we are or the variable name that we are expecting so um, the variable name we define that and then we need to define the function and here we need to put the event and then data and here we will receive actual the data so what we will have to do we have to put this scope dot a state equal to data so let's recap quickly so so in the next video the broadcast to widget what we are doing we are checking that the broadcast one that variable that we have um, broadcast into that uh, widget number one if there is any value changes what will be happen we are going to assign that value to the other uh, scope dot state value so let's save that and and let's retry one more time so this is my um, page broadcast page and value by default is new and then once we click that in progress value is changed to the in progress and once we click the close value should be changed to the closed so this is how it's working the value from uh, the value is sending from this widget to the this widget so let's understand one more time so this is my broadcast one where we are showing the alert so i'll just remove the alert so what is happening so when somebody clicking this function or so when somebody clicking this button so it is calling to a client script and then client script declaring a root scope and it is doing the root scope dot broadcast using the root scope dot broadcast it is creating a variables called broadcast one and that is assigning to value now in the widget two what we are doing in the widget two we are checking that is there any value changes happening to that global variable called root scope variable called root cause variable called broadcast one if um, uh, any value or uh, this value changes so we are uh, through the listener we are listening and assigning value to particular value called state so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day